Hey, it's Nadine. Welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I have a makeup-y video for you guys, so I hope you guys are excited. I will be showing you two different makeup looks. I have a pinky one as well as an orangey one, and I hope you like them. By the way, some of the items were gifted to me by YesStyle, so I would just like to thank them for sending me these awesome goodies. All of the product links from YesStyle will be linked down below. Without further ado, let's get started. Starting off with a clean and fresh face. Okay, I'm gonna tie my hair up first, and then we are going to prep our skin to ensure that we have a good base to work with. I'm using Skin Foods' Rice Mask Wash Off. This gentle mask softens and brightens up my skin, serving as a great pick-me-up for tired days. So I'm gonna apply this all over my face, and I'm gonna leave it to dry for around 10 minutes, and then I'm gonna wash it off, and then it'll be all good. <laughs> After 10 minutes, we are moving on to toning the skin. I'm using my Beauty Water from Sun and Park. I love toning my skin because it refreshes my face so much and I just like having my face at the right pH level. Afterwards, I'm gonna moisturize with this emulsion from Tony Moly. I honestly love this moisturizer so much. It has that nice clean scent to it and it moisturizes, of course, my skin very well and it doesn't make my skin feel greasy afterwards. Moving on to actual makeup, we're starting off with foundation and I'm using this one from L'Oreal. And with this foundation, I like to dot and immediately after dotting, I like to blend it and buff it into my skin right away. I find that if I don't blend it in right away, it doesn't really blend seamlessly onto my skin. So I would just rather dot and blend rather than having weird splotchy marks on my face. For concealer, I'm using my trusty True Match concealer from L'Oreal as well, and I'm just gonna draw little triangles under my eye bags. I, I have really bad under eye circles, but you know, what can you do? But cover them. I'm just gonna lightly tap the product onto my skin. Moving on to eyebrows, I'm gonna use this Bravo conditioner from Benefit. This thing, I'm not sure if it actually, you know, primes my eyebrows, but it does nourish them. And then I've actually been doing my eyebrows a bit differently the past couple of weeks. So I'm gonna use my Gimme Brow and I'm gonna use the brow gel and apply it all over my eyebrows. And right now I'm just coating each of my brow hair with the gel. And then afterwards, I'm gonna brush it upwards because I really like the feathered and natural look. Now I'm just gonna press the eyebrow hairs onto my skin, which sounds kind of weird, but I think it really helps in thickening the look of my eyebrows. I'm gonna get my Precisely My Brow Pencil from Benefit and I'm gonna fill in my eyebrows. So I'm just focusing on the lower part of my eyebrows and filling that area in. And the strokes that I'm doing are upward motions. Afterwards, I'm gonna do another coat of my eyebrow gel and I really find that this helps thicken my eyebrows and makes it look a lot more naturally thick as you can see like it just looks so thick in this clip I know so I'm gonna blend it out a bit with a spoolie a clean one and basically that's my eyebrow routine for now Moving on to the fun part which is eyes. I'm using the Etude House Play Color Eyes and this eyeshadow palette comprises of a lot of orangey shades and browns and glittery. I love all of the glittery shadows, but yes, I think this palette is very beautiful and fun to play with. Starting off with a base shade, I'll be using this light peachy color and I'm gonna apply it all over my eyelid. Since it's a matte shade and it's not super pigmented, I find that using my fingers work the best rather than using the flat shader brush I was using earlier. And this just creates a nice wash all over my eyelids. Now I'm using this vibrant orange shade and it's super bright and pretty shimmery and I'm just gonna apply it all over the lids as well and blending it with a clean brush. With this pinky peach shade, I'm gonna put that on the crease and further blending out any harsh lines that I may have created earlier from the shadows. I'm so pleased with the color! I'm now taking this light white shimmery shade and putting it underneath my eyebrow. Mm -hmm. 
I'm grabbing this chocolate brown shade and lining my eyes a bit. But since the color is a bit light, I'm grabbing this dark black shade. And there, you can see it now. So I'm just gonna line my eyes with that. I wet the eyeshadow a bit with some water and applied it on with this angled brush. After defining the eyes, we're gonna mix the two colors and apply the color that we've created on the lash line. There we go! That's the eyes! We're done! Yay! I just love just a nice colorful eye look. Now, moving on to mascara. I'm using this one from BU and I'm just gonna coat my eyelashes and my mascara face is just so weird. We are now going to complete the face makeup and we're starting off with my favorite Glossier blush. I'm just gonna dot this onto my cheeks and blend it in. For highlight, I'm using Tony Moly's Luminous Goddess Aura Crystal Light. It's my favorite. It's such a pretty highlighter. It's very subtle, natural, exactly the look I'm going for, and it also smells really good. Now we're gonna moisturize the lips. I love the packaging of this one. It's from Tony Moly, and I'm gonna moisturize my lips, of course. And then for the lip color, can we just appreciate the packaging of Three Concept Eyes? I love it. Okay, we're just gonna apply that all over my lips. It's kind of an orangey brick color. I don't really have a color like this. And then I forgot to mattify my face, so we're just gonna um, put some translucent powder under my eyes and basically wherever I get oily. And basically, that is the look. It's very simple. I just love a pop of color and it's also really fun. I hope you guys like this look too. But now we are going to move on to the next look. So starting off with, you know, my face fully made up, I'm gonna grab my Garnier Missler Water and I'm gonna remove my eye makeup. And I also remove my under eye concealer makeup. And I think with a fairly clean face, we're gonna start with the eye look. Using a palette from Etude House, again, the Play Color Eyes palette. Inside of this palette lies beautiful pink shades and mauves. I love this palette as well. It's so fun and girly. Yes, I'm so pleased. So I'm gonna grab again the light baby pink shade and again with my fingers, I'm just gonna apply it all over my eyelid. I just like doing this so that I have a nice base and canvas to blend my eyeshadows with. With the mauve shade, I'm gonna put this on the outer part of my eyes as well as the inner portion and it creates great depth and dimension to my eyelids. And I like how the color is quite a subtle shade but also very different. Now I'm choosing this shimmery shade and applying this on the center of my lids to brighten up my eyes and further again create more dimension. I'm just retouching the mauve shade and with this shimmery peachy color, I'm gonna use that as my blending transition shade to blend anything, any harsh lines out. And again, I'm using the first shade that we use and further just blending everything out. I just don't want my eyes to look very harsh, so yeah. Let's just blend, 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 blend. And then for the fun part, we're gonna use this hot pink color and we're gonna use that as a liner But I'm not gonna use that as a legit liner If you can see, I'm just creating two lines and I'm not filling it in or anything And I feel like this creates such an interesting shape And this is inspired by Korean makeup things that I've been seeing on Instagram It's very fun and you know, if you have time, why not? It's really cute so this is what it looks like and I'm gonna apply the white shimmery shade on the center of my lids once again to brighten it up because it kind of faded. We're done with the eyes! Now I'm just gonna conceal my you know, under eye circles once again. We're gonna blend it with my fingers and pat 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 Yes, still blending. Thank you. 
Moving on to highlight, I'm using the same highlighter but in a different shade. This one's a bit more pinky silvery, but it's still again subtle and just a nice sheen to your skin. I love it. And then I'm just gonna apply translucent powder again to set everything in place. For blush, I'm using a cheek tint. This one is from Super Beauty. I've been loving just the natural rosy flushed look. So I'm just applying that onto my cheeks and I love the healthy glow that it gives. For lip color, I'm using this one from Color Neek. And I really enjoy the formula of this lip product because it's a matte liquid lipstick and it actually lasts a pretty long time. Okay, I'm just gonna touch up my mascara. And I forgot to put some eyeshadow underneath my eyes. So I'm just gonna drag some just to complete the look. And as you can see, this look is very pinky, very rosy. It makes me happy. I love the color pink. So if you enjoy the color pink, I hope you enjoy this look as well. It's very simple and very easy to do. Thank you so much for watching this video. The products from Yes Style will be linked down below. This video is from my heart to yours. I'll see you guys next time. Bye! And I've been thinking a lot. I think I could